today on the spot as always we bring you the latest dlc available this week on xbox live tell you what to get your xbox fanboy this christmas in our first installment of GameSpot's holiday gift guide go on location to hear what monster hunter try is all about lark demos bayonetta and close things out with a unique look at modern warfare 2 today on the spot Hey everybody, welcome to Today on the Spot. I'm your host, Sean McInnes, and joining me is my very special guest, Lark Anderson. What's now, up, Sean? Lark, the holiday season is almost upon us. Wish lists are being made all over this very website right here. Uh, what's in yours, buddy? Well, I'm really hoping that Santa delivers on my car that transforms into a jet, but barring that, I'm also asking for a unicorn. So I think I've got my bases covered. A unicorn? Yeah. Why settle for a unicorn when you can get a unicorn that transforms into something? Oh, that's good, but I'm already asking for a transforming car, so that might be a bit too greedy. That's a little bit too greedy. Set your sights low so that uh, next Christmas you can aim even higher. Oh, yeah. All right, sounds oh, yeah. like a good plan. Now, Tor Thorson is about to fill us in on the world of news. So, Tor, what's going on? Hello everyone, it's your GameSpot News Update for Thursday, November 19th. I'm Tor Thorson. In what will hopefully be the last bit of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 news for a while, Activision announced that Infinity Ward Shooter is now officially the biggest entertainment launch ever. Worldwide, the game took in $550 million in just five days. That's more than any other game, including Grand Theft Auto 4, and even tops the $394 million five-day global box office record set by the film Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. That said, Modern Warfare 2's success did not come cheap. According to the Los Angeles Times, the game had a budget of between $40 and $50 million before worldwide marketing costs, which drove the final price take up to around $200 million. The figure means that Activision spent at least three times as much marketing the game as it did developing it. Imagine if they would have spent that $10 million on, you know, adding a few hours to the single-player campaign. In other news, Nintendo may be trying something different for the next Zelda game on the Wii, due out in 2010. Producer E.G. Aonuma told the UK's official Nintendo magazine that details from the game will drop at E3 2010, and that they may reveal a shake-up of the long-running series formula. Said Aonuma, It is something we used to talk about with Mr. Miyamoto. He and I agree that if we are following the same structure again and again, we might not be able to give longtime Zelda fans a fresh surprise. And given the concept art, we know it's not Wind Waker 2, but it looks like we'll have to wait till next spring to figure out what the big surprise is. Well, that's it, your GameSpot News update for Thursday, November 19th. For more headlines like these, head on over to news.gamespot.com. Well, that's what's going on in the world of news. Now, that's not the only thing going on right now. There's a lot of new stuff going on on Xbox Live, so let's take a look at all of that right now. This week on Xbox Live. This year's fall update is chock full of new features, including the social networking websites Facebook and Twitter, as well as Zune HD video support and internet radio service Last FM, owned by GameSpot parent company CBS Interactive. The Twitter and Facebook tabs can be found in the My Community channel on the Xbox Live's dashboard. Twitter integration will allow gamers to post tweets through Xbox Live, but outside of actual games. With the Facebook add-on, Xbox Live gamers can sync their gamer tags with their social networking accounts, as well as share photos and in-game screenshots. Friend updates will also be viewable through the Xbox Live dashboard. The Xbox 360's Last FM application can be found in the Music Channel menu. Xbox 360 owners will also gain access to the service's community aspects, such as tailored listening habits, artist information, as well as the visual radio slideshow that compels fan-submitted photos. Finally, the Zune branded video functionality will allow Xbox Live users to buy or rent instantly streaming HD video in 1080p and 5.1 surround sound. Zune is available through the video channel. Beyond the fall update, coming to XBLA is Gyromancer, available for 1200 Microsoft points or $15. This puzzle-based role-playing game combines Bejeweled-style gem matching with an RPG game storyline, item collection, and exploration. Gyromancer features 10 different stages as well as 50 different beasts that can be mastered and used in the field of gem swapping. The classic time management game Diner Dash also heads to Microsoft's online arcade and can be purchased for 800 Microsoft points or $10. Codemaster Street Racer Grid is now available through the Games On Demand channel for $29.99. The third installment in Codemaster's Toka series, Grid received high critical marks upon its debut in June of 2008. 
New game videos out this week features an Enemies of Mass Effect 2 trailer, a bevy of Assassin's Creed 2 dev diaries 1 through 5, the Just Getting Started gameplay trailer for The Saboteur, and the Ignite the War trailer for Avatar. In the indie game section, we have a couple of titles worth mentioning. Wool tasks you as a dog, and your job is to gather the adorable yet not very intelligent sheep into a safe place. CL2010 puts players inside the fastest, most physical game on two feet. College Lacrosse will have you dodging hard to the cage, throwing crazy stick checks, and sniping corners in the first ever field lacrosse video game. That's all the time we have. Be sure to tune in every Thursday when we bring you the latest, this week on Xbox Live. So definitely a lot of big releases this week on Xbox Live. Lark, any personal favorites for you? I'm sorry, what? Uh, Xbox Live, did you pay attention to Oh, I to totally wasn't paying attention to that. I was tweeting the entire time. You were tweeting the entire time? Yep. What, what, what the hell were you tweeting? Uh, well, you know, we've got some uh, Facebook and Twitter is totally on Xbox Live now. I'm just asking my bros here to play some <laughs> Modern Warfare 2. What? And posting that on Twitter. And yeah, so um, I don't know what, what you are up to, but I am about to go play some Modern I'm definitely Warfare not too. tweeting, if that's what you're wondering. Well, tweeting is not the only thing going on this week. We also went down to Capcom to have a look at Monster Hunter 3 for the Wii. But while we were there, Capcom also surprised us with the announcement of a new Phoenix Wright game for WiiWare. We went on location to check that out, so let's see what's going on with all that. Hey everybody, it's Ricardo and I'm here at Capcom's very unique Monster Hunter event. I'm standing here with Chris Kramer, who's Director of Communications for the company. So, what are we doing here? We're taking everyone to school on Monster Hunter Tri. So, we've decided to open Monster Hunter Tri University, so we brought in a bunch of guys from the media, a whole lot of folks from our community, and we're kind of introducing Monster Hunter Tri to everybody in North America. Alright, now I think most people know Monster Hunter, but Tri is actually kind of a a brand new different beast so why don't you go ahead and show us the game yeah we'd love to sit down and show you uh, how Monster Hunter looks on the Wii so welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Tri we're hunting a monster that's new to the Monster Hunter universe this is the Lagiacarus monster and Lagiacarus is an amphibious monster new to Monster Hunter Tri is uh, underwater levels now Fighting underwater is not as complicated as it would seem. Here comes Lagiacris right out the gate. So this guy is one of the larger monsters in Monster Hunter Try. He's seen me, so he's unhappy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get in close and zap him. So I'm carrying a great sword, which is uh, my favorite weapon in uh, Monster Hunter. So I'm gonna get in close and engage him. So I'm gonna see if I can get a couple uh, combos on him. So the uh, Lagiacarus battle starts off underwater, but if we do enough damage to him here, we'll actually be able to drive him up onto land. And once up on land, uh, we'll be able to, to, to uh, damage him in different spots, um, including uh, uh, cutting off his tail, which is um, sort of like a Monster Hunter trademark. Every monster has unique kind of weak points and uh, different, uh, different areas that you can really hammer down on. With uh, Lagiacris, you, um, you can focus on cutting off his tail when he's out of the water. So I'm using the longsword here to combo. And this sword, like, you can string a number of attacks together. Oh, he just did a shock attack. Um, the monsters uh, all have uh, very unique um, attack patterns that you'll come to be familiar with as you uh, work your way through the game. Uh, they usually will give you a pretty good heads up. You'll have a good idea of what's about to happen based on the way they're behaving. Unlike most RPGs where you're focusing on raising the level of your character, in Monster Hunter, you're really you're raising the level of your gear and your loot. And the way you get better loot is by taking on bigger monsters. When you uh, fight a monster like Lagiacris, you'll be able to carve his body. And his body will give you things like scales, hide, fangs, claws. You'll be able to use those and actually create individual pieces of armor or weapons. All right, we took him out. Congratulations. Nice work, everyone. That was pure teamwork. All right, Chris, well, thanks for that look at the game. Tell us when we're going to be able to get our hands on it. Monster Hunter Trial will be coming to Wii's in North America in the spring of 2010.
There you go. Be sure you check the site. We're going to have a lot more in the game really soon. So that's your look at Monster Hunter 3 for the Wii. If you want to check out the full interview for that, make sure to head on over to GameSpot.com. You'll be able to see the entire interview. And one of the other new features we've got on the site right now is a holiday gift guide feature where you can assemble an entire wish list with all the games you want, send it over to mom, hopefully she gets some of that for you. Lark, as you know, Thanksgiving's coming up, and that's actually a holiday that was built around gift giving. That's right, that's right. When the pilgrims hit up on the East Coast, they gave out Oregon Trail to the Indian tribe that they encountered. Yeah, that's totally no true fact. and not in any way made up. Nope, no. Nope. That's factual. It was on Wikipedia. I added it there myself. <laughs> that makes it true. Instantly makes it true. Yep. Now, uh, today is our Xbox sort of uh, special show. We, we showed you what's new in Xbox Live. We talked about the Twitter stuff. Right now, we're actually going to focus in on the Xbox specific games that you can add to your wish list on the site. But make sure to check out the next few episodes of the show. We're going to see the Sony games and the Nintendo games. But right now, let's head over and see what sort of Xbox games are big on the holiday gift guide. It's that time of the year again. The holiday season is back and so is the GameSpot Gamers Gift Bag to help you get the best in gaming under your tree this year. For something extra special this holiday season, there's the Xbox 360 Modern Warfare 2 Limited Edition console. Not only do you get an exclusively designed 360 inspired by the game, you also get a copy of one of the most anticipated games of the year, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Two wireless controllers and a 250GB hard drive, more than twice the size of the largest hard drive available and not available separately. If you've already got an Xbox 360, here are some suggestions to make sure your game library is a whole lot more entertaining this holiday season. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 continues the gripping and heart-racing action as players face off against a new threat dedicated to bringing the world to the brink of collapse. With an epic single-player campaign, improved competitive multiplayer modes, and a new Spec Ops cooperative multiplayer mode, this intense and cinematic experience will be on everybody's holiday list this year. If fighting aliens is more your style, Halo 3 ODST might be the game for you. It's a new take on the Halo series as quiet, moody scenes flow into the spirited, high-energy battles the franchise is known for. The gripping story, cooperative campaign, and new multiplayer content in Halo 3 ODST will surely delight any action game fan this holiday season. And in Assassin's Creed 2, the lineage continues with a new assassin, this time in Venice, Italy, 1486. Experience the freedom and immersion of an all-new open world and mission structure with new weapons and instruments created by Leonardo da Vinci himself. Another guaranteed hit this winter is Left 4 Dead 2. The zombie apocalypse is back once again as you step into the shoes of the survivors and be one of the hunted or do the hunting yourself as one of the infected. Whether you play by yourself, split screen with a friend, or with seven other players online, you'll be dying to check out the new melee combat, new monsters and weapons, the improved AI and more with Left 4 Dead 2. And if the brutality of heavy metal strikes your fancy, Brutal Legend is here to darken up your lovely day. In a heavy metal fantasy, Eddie Riggs, a roadie chosen by the rock gods, must crush the demons and save humanity armed only with a broad axe, his guitar clementine, and an army of metalheads. The legendary fighting series Street Fighter is back for some more with Street Fighter 4 and it's about time. Ten years in the making, the classic 2D fighting perspective is back with updated 3D embellishments. Players will be able to play their favorite classic characters as well as brand new characters in artfully designed environments rendered in beautifully stylized 3D. Bring the fight back to the streets this season with Street Fighter 4. Looking for a bit more sophistication? Then Forza Motorsport 3 is what you're looking for. Whether you're into high-end sports cars, classic American muscle cars, highly tunable import racers, or a European supercar with more than 400 cars and over 100 courses from around the globe, you'll find it all in Forza Motorsport 3. For your favorite musicians and musician wannabes, spread a little love their way with the Beatles Rock Band. Follow the legendary career of the Beatles from Liverpool to Shea Stadium to Abbey Road. Play on all new specially made instruments and sing three-part harmony with up to three microphones. You too can become John, Paul, Ringo, and George this holiday season. So that about wraps up the GameSpot Gamers gift bag for the Xbox 360. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or just getting started, there's something for everyone this holiday season, so make sure to watch all of our holiday gift guides so you don't miss out on any of the hot gifts for your favorite gamer.
Well, that's your first look at our holiday gift guide feature. Now, one game that's coming out soon but is already out in Japan is Bayonetta. And that game is the one that we're going to check out on our daily demo, courtesy of our expert fighting action master ninja, Lark Anderson. That's, that's actually my job title. That's Back. what's on your business card. Yep. All right, so let's jump into this right now. All right, so this is the start of Bayonetta. It starts off like kind of cutscene-y, okay. old-timey looking. Um, and it just gets right into the kind of crazy action that you can expect to see in this game. So this is very much a sort of like, is it a beat-em-up game? Would you call it a beat-em-up? Uh, it's an action combat game. Action I'd combat. say it's a stylish action combat game, sort of like Devil May Cry, because the, the man responsible for Bayonetta is also responsible for Devil May Cry. Okay. So this is actually all... This is just all gameplay. Like, this just jumps you in with no real context as to what you're doing into just killing angels, because mm -hmm. that's what Bayonetta is all about, is right. killing angels. Yeah. And so, you, you just kind of, just this is your tutorial, kind of, your introduction to what's going on in the game, and it's really kind of a striking way to just begin the game. I mean, you're on a freaking clock face that is falling <laughs> off of a mountain, you know, and you're fighting angels, and at this right. point, you know, you're probably just like, what the F am I doing? <laughs> so, just to eliminate confusion here, uh, the game was released in Japan early, earlier this month. It's coming out early 2010 in America. Yep. Right First week now, of January, I believe. Right now, we're playing the PlayStation 3 version, the Japanese PlayStation 3 version, but like probably the best one is the 360 one, right? Yeah, the PlayStation version has some technical issues. Okay. Um, I mean, it's still a totally playable game. There are some frame rate hiccups. Mm -hmm. um, so, some of the textures maybe don't look quite as good as the Xbox version, um, but I mean it's it's totally playable. Yeah, so it's, it's not still like a it's, very pretty it's, game. Yeah, it's not that much worse. All right, so let's talk about what what makes this different from a game like Devil May Cry. Well, for one thing, you're a lady. Right. Um, that's that's kind of a, that's a big thing. No, <laughs> not really. Uh, I mean, Bayonetta, uh, she's a witch, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's got all sorts of crazy magical powers. Dante is all about using a sword and maybe a couple other random, uh, you know, weapons that he picks up and his two guns, ebony and ivory. Uh, <laughs> Bayonetta actually has four guns, two of which are attached to her feet. Right. Of um, course. They're called the Scarborough Fair. <laughs> actually, they have they have names, you know, and and. Uh, she fights really kind of crazy. Her, yeah. her hair is kind of a big thing about her. Um, her suit is actually made of her hair. And as you go through the game, and this is, this is old-timey Bayonetta, so right. I mean, um, she doesn't have her awesome hair suit really right now. But um, later in the game, you will get that. And pretty much, when you do attacks like the giant, um, you know, like healed hair kick thing that I just did, uh -huh. you lose parts of your suit. Okay. And there's a thing called uh, Witch Time. There is a thing game? called Witch Time. What, what the heck I can't is do that? it right now because okay. uh, this is part of the tutorial. But um, once you get into the game itself, if you, it's all about dodging attacks. And, and most of these types of games, uh, you either have to block or you dodge attacks. And, and in Bayonetta, if you dodge an attack at the last possible moment, you actually go into Witch Time, which is like you know just another name for Bullet Time. Okay. And it's a full like slow motion thing where you get to um, you know have like three or four seconds where the enemies are all slow and you can just beat the, you know, beat the stuff out of them. <laughs> beat the crap out of them. Yeah, beat the crap out of them. Yeah, that's what you're trying to say. That's there. what I was trying to say. Yeah. Uh, so this, again, is the beginning of the game, but I would assume you unlock uh, more abilities, combos, Oh, definitely. Weapons. Um, throughout the entire game, you are able to purchase um, upgrades or to your abilities. You find uh, angelic LPs, actually, and you mm -hmm. trade those to Rodan, who is your demonic blacksmith, and he puts together um, you know, new weapons for you. You get a whip, you get a, a two-handed katana, um, rocket launchers, shotguns, like all kinds of crazy stuff you unlock in this game. And you know, it, you know, every weapon's very different. Mm -hmm. um, you, you get ice skates, and nice. you can skate around instead of strapping guns to your legs. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. So, uh, obviously, we're playing the PlayStation 3 version. The other yep. PS3 thing you guys should keep an eye out for this guy right here, Netflix is finally starting to send out their PS3 instant streaming discs. Um, yep, that thing. This thing. That thing. That that you know you have to you have to actually get up and then put this disc in right. just so you can stream. I mean, it's awesome that it Netflix is. is on the PS3. Uh -huh. It's just it's kind of cumbersome way of doing it. It is, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. That's if true. you don't have a 360, you know, you could certainly do worse than having to get up, walk three feet, and put a disc in your system. That's true. All right. That is true. 
So that is your look at Bayonetta for the PlayStation 3, the Japanese version, obviously the American one. Still coming out early next year. Uh, right now, we're actually going to give some stuff to you guys as our way of saying thanks for watching this show. Uh, we've got some trivia challenges going on, Lark. Yep, yep. We got a whole bunch of uh, Monster Hunter stuff from last night's event. Got a cool backpack here. We've got the sweet hoodie, the uh, Monster Hunter University Hunting Club. And a sweet backpack, Monster Hunter 3 University, and um, what appears to be a sweet, sweet art book slash uh, info catalog slash um, you've got like pictures of the dreamy developer, uh, Ryozo Tsujimoto. You know, well, who wouldn't want pictures of that guy? Oh yeah. All right. So uh, in order to win this, you're going to have to submit some trivia answers to us. And here's the trivia questions that we have for you. In Monster Hunter 3, there is a new character who has a significant role in the single player story campaign. And they also act as a helper over the course of the game. So the question's easy. What's that character's name? If you think you have the answer, Send us an email at onthespot at gamespot.com or click that green answer trivia button on the page right here. So uh, send us some answers and try to win some sweet stuff. So if you're anything like us, you've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare too, but you might not have picked up on all the little hidden things in that game. Our buddy Tyler Weingartner actually went through and collected all the different Easter eggs and that sort of thing. Here's a little snippet of that video. You can also check out the full thing on the site. Heavy sunspot activity today. Sierra Delta, uh, we may have a minor ACS fault here. Do you have anything on your scope? Sierra Delta, repeat. I'm looking at fighter jets. 95. How the hell did they get through? Stand by, attempting to contact the nearest unit in that sector. I read you. This is 1st Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment. Sergeant Foley. Additional ground support is en route to your position, but has encountered heavy resistance. Over. Roger that, Overlord. Be advised, we have encountered enemy armor and are proceeding on foot. Over. Overlord copies all. Good luck. Out. Sarge, did HQ just tell us to go after ourselves? Ramirez, hostile taking cover on the roof of the Bergen Tower. And that will just about do it for today's episode of the show. Uh, Lark, we finally got our Netflix instant streaming disc. What do you say we put this thing to good use? Yeah, I think we should hop on the Netflix instant queue and watch some Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus? If there's a giant shark fighting a giant octopus, and like the shark bites the Golden Gate Bridge, um, there's scenes of that, science being done. That done, sold, sold. We're gonna watch that right. right now. All right. All right, everybody, thanks for watching the show. I'm Sean McInnes, that's Lark Anderson. See you guys later. Mega Shark! Now it's time for me to f*** up. <laughs> and what will hopefully be the last bit of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's f Producer E.G. Aonuma told the UK's Nintendo Magazine that f it's official Nintendo Magazine, damn it. <laughs> I'm Tor Thorson. I'm Tor Thorson. No? That wasn't good? No?